Now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning. I wanted to start us this morning with some pictures I got yesterday. They're showing us the first couple of signs of spring. Look at this beautiful butterfly spotted in Cedar County. Gorgeous sunshine coming through some of those bare tree limbs that we've got still in Ozark, Missouri. Randy Bear Thomas sent in this picture. Uh, so we've had these temperatures at and a little bit above average the last couple of days. Our first few signs of spring, right? The first stretch where we really had these temperatures at and above average for this time of year average is 53 degrees and we find that trend as we head into the spring season right here in Springfield where we have more warm spring days more spring days that are above normal in fact we've got on average nine more days that we find that are above average during the spring season here and what that could give way to for us locally is a longer growing season depending on the crop that may or may not be a good thing a longer allergy season for the snifflers that we've got and a longer pest season some of those bugs could start going a little bit earlier in the season as we had uh, towards summer. Officially, the first official day of spring is Thursday, March 19th, and it starts at 10:59 p.m. A few clouds out there this morning. It's 36 degrees in Springfield on some southerly winds at seven miles per hour. Temperatures are a few degrees warmer than yesterday, give or take, by about five degrees in spots. It's 36 degrees in Springfield, 45 in Branson, 47 in Mount Grove, and 43 degrees in Fort Leonard. Wood. We're finding a couple of clouds out there this morning and they're filling in from the south. That's because you can see we don't have rain all too far away. It's in central Arkansas this morning, but the front is draped south of there. It's stretching from Texas uh, through Arkansas and Louisiana and into Mississippi and Alabama. So we're starting to get into that cloud shield, but that storm will stay to our south as we had through the day today because it's detached from that jet stream. So we're looking at a couple of clouds, but things will stay dry. Another storm passes to the north and east tomorrow that swings through a cold front and a north wind shift. So we'll find temperatures cooler, but again, will still be pretty dry. So hour by hour again, we'll find some clouds filling in from the south today should still be a mostly sunny day with temperatures around 60 degrees. Mostly clear tonight and temperatures still about average on the overnight 36 degrees for a low by tomorrow. Mostly sunny and temperatures back in the lower 60s continuing this pretty dry and mild stretch. The one cooler day would be Friday 56 degrees there, but that's still not too far off from the average of 53. And then we're looking at those temperatures getting back into the low to middle 60s uh, by the weekend. So again, what we're expecting ahead is just a couple of more clouds today as one storm passes to the south. A little bit cooler on Friday as another storm passes to the north and east through the Great Lakes. Still a dry and mild stretch expected with those highs in the lower 60s. Next rain chance still looks like it holds off until Sunday night into Monday. 60 degrees today, a few clouds and some southerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 36 degrees overnight will be mostly clear. Tomorrow, 63 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Another nice mild afternoon with some south and west winds. Uh, we'll have temperatures go a little bit cooler on Friday with those highs in the middle 50s. Warmer and breezy on Saturday. Temperatures back in the lower 60s. Again, rain holds off until the overnight on Sunday. You might find a couple of more clouds in the afternoon, but the bigger rain day will be on Monday. That's when we'll have some scattered showers and thunder. We're dry again on Tuesday. Clocks also go forward this weekend. You'll lose an hour of sleep.